えー、シュアブ会長、手永先生、ありがとうございます。日本の内閣総理大臣、安倍晋三です。今日は残念ながら、そちらにお邪魔できなかったのですが、約1万キロ離れた日本から、ダボスに来られていただきたいと思います。But it is an honor to talk with all of you, whilst I am 10,000 kilometers away through the live relay broadcast. I am delighted that so many of you joined the Japan Night day before yesterday. Thank you very much. I am happy if you were able to appreciate how Japan is aspiring to contribute to the international community in our own distinctive Japanese way. Almost two years have gone by since the Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami. Today, I wish to speak of Japan's future vision, having gone through the disaster and leveraging on the experience to once again see a strong growth ahead for our economy. I am told that the theme of the Davos Conference this year is resilient dynamism. I feel as if the theme in itself is warmly pushing Japan forward in encouragement in bespeaking of the resilience of the Japanese economy. Have you, ladies and gentlemen, heard of the Tokyo Sky Tree? Tokyo Sky Tree is a radio tower, all of 634 meters high, world's tallest tower, completed last year in the traditional district of Tokyo. The steel tower, With vacuum inside is the epitome of the cutting edge science and technology, absorbing the seismic vibration like the gentle willow tree. Sky Tree takes after the five story pagoda, wooden high rise structure having history of more than a millennium. Fusion of a wisdom nurtured through long tradition and the leading edge science and technology begets fresh new innovation, a structure that would withstand a harsh disaster, will produce resistance. Resilience in the society. The sky tree is one symbolic case of the resilient dynamism sought by the world, is it not? Japan has the potential to make a difference in the world. By setting free, the potential strength will make the world a better place. Japan has long time suffered from deflationary economy. Thus, mission of the Abe government is to move out of deflation and bring the Japanese economy back to the growth track once again, which I am convinced will contribute to further growth for the whole world. We should start by regaining our resolute will to do our best to grow the economy. We should break away from contracting economy and aim for creating wealth anew from growth. Such position has been made clear to be the basis of our policy and philosophy. There are three pillars to my policy. Bold Monetary policy, dynamic fiscal policy, and growth strategy stimulating private sector investment. These three arrows will simultaneously propel the economy forward. We shall introduce measures different in dimension from the past to revitalize our economy. This will be the Abe government's basic policy. First and foremost, come out of deflation as quickly as possible. This clear cut position and vision is shared by the Bank of Japan. On the 22nd of this month, the government and the Bank of Japan have put forth an epoch making joint statement to announce the introduction of 2% price stability target. I am expecting BOJ to implement bold monetary easing to realize the target in the earliest possible time. In addition, in order to prop up the real economy, an emergency economic package was compiled two weeks ago. With this stimulus, post-disaster reconstruction shall be accelerated. One cause of deflation, the demand and supply gap will be closed and seeds for future growth shall be sowed. The expected effect is to raise Japan's GDP by approximately 2% in real terms. However, fiscal spending alone will not allow economic growth forever. In order to cultivate a perceivable and a concrete expectation of a growing Japanese economy on a mid- and long-term perspective, economic growth strategy to promote private sector growth shall be established, which will be implemented in a speedy manner. 
The key to economic growth is first, regulatory reform, second, innovation, and third, to open the economy. Our plan is to eliminate domestic institutional impediments and overcome challenges such as declining birth rate and aging or restricted energy supply. Just a while ago, Professor Shinya Yamanaka won the Nobel Prize for the invention of IPS cells. Japan is creating these kind of new knowledges out of cutting-edge science and technology. The problem is how the results of innovation could be commercialized and be linked to the realization of a better society. Clinical trials using iPS cells are about to start. Japan, the fastest Asian society in the world, will commercialize regenerative medicine and be the front runner of building a society that enables long and healthy lives. This could be introduced overseas and thereby be a contribution to the world. This is part of the growth strategy I envision. In this way, seeds of growth shall be identified if an environment is devised to allow the seeds to grow steadily, then economic growth would be possible even when the population is declining. Having said that, fiscal reconstruction is of course important. Primary balance surplus will continue to be pursued, a clear path to accomplish both the revitalization of the Japanese economy and a public finance that is sustainable on a mid and long-term basis will be developed. The Japanese voters once again entrusted the government to me. What is required of myself is to demonstrate the palpable speed and the ability to implement towards the fulfillment of the policies. These are indeed what the global community is expecting of Japan. Fighting terrorism is another global challenge out of many due to the terrorist attack in Algeria. A large number of lives were lost. This kind of abominable act is utterly unforgivable. Japan will continue to contribute to the resolution of these kind of common challenges for mankind. We shall proactively endeavor to solve these matters ahead of other states in order to indicate a path towards solution for the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please expect the resurrection of a powerful Japan. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Prime Minister, uh, congratulations for what uh, you just described to us uh, as your policies. Uh, of course, uh, there are some people concerned with uh, giving up uh, stability targets for uh, central banks. And uh, we had quite some discussions on this issue here in Davos, and it might be interested, uh, interesting to hear from you whether you have somewhere also some concerns about this change of policy. I would like uh, to make a comment that Bank of Japan, for the first time, will be committing uh, itself uh, for, for the price stability a target of 2%, and Bank of Japan uh, will take on the responsibility uh, to uh, select and implement all the available measures to achieve this target. As for, for the specific approach, the Bank of Japan who will maintain its independence and will make their decision independently. Thus, the independence of the Bank of Japan have not been shaken at all. But there could be one difference from the past. The government and the Bank of Japan now shares the policy target. At the same time, government to the Japanese people the will have to be committing itself for dynamic the monetary policies and that we will formulate growth strategy and immediately implement a strategy. Deregulation and innovation will be the two major pillars of that strategy. Already Professor Takenaka has joined the Industrial Competitiveness Council where the growth strategy is now being considered and we are resolved to implement the strategy and the program. If not, I don't think we will be able to see a sustained growth for Japan.